Talking to Doc for half an hour had gotten me more useful information than eight days with the upstairs duo. I had peeped the strong box where I was sure Doc kept her money. I had figured even on a bad day she had at least two patients who each paid her $150 in cash. Depending upon what day she goes to the bank and whether or not she goes every week, there could be a minimum of $1,500 weekly or three grand every two weeks in that locked box. I would watch her carefully, get to know her. I wouldn't be satisfied until I was able to see what kind of treasure she had on each floor of this castle. After all, she pushed the bins. She paid the bills, so what was I wasting my time with the other two for? Right away, I understood why Lauren said she went to the womanhood meetings for the laughs. As a gazillion chicks with an assortment of bad taste filed into the big room on a Sunday night, I bugged at the whole scene. Girls with turbans on like they were straight out of the desert. Girls with ashy feet and ashy elbows, a bunch of fake jewelry, cheap shoes, and bald heads. I couldn't believe that these girls couldn't understand that the real problem was they had no style. How are you going to be a female with a head full of unkept, nappy hair or a fade like a man? Now, they didn't all look the same, but they all looked busted. Some of them were young, like 15. Some of them seemed as old as 35 or 40. I'm thinking if you're 40 years old getting advice from a 25-year-old, you might as well hang it up.